you use nuclear fuel and not that possible. Nuclear fuel is feasible, but whether these will be velocities are feasible, which are interesting if you ever want to get to ever start. That is an important question. And that's about all I can say. What is antimatter? Antimatter is the exact counterpart of matter, which has a charge and a spin that is in the opposite of all matter. When combined with any matter in our universe, any matter reacts and completely converts to energy. This technology that you've learned about thus far was brought here by some alien beings from the Zeta Reticuli 1 and 2 star system. These stars are located in the constellation of Reticulum, which can only be seen from the southern hemisphere. Zeta Reticuli is a binary star system, which means it has two stars, and is located approximately 30 light years from Earth. These beings said that man was the product of externally corrected evolution. They said that man, as a species, had been genetically altered 65 times. They referred to humans as containers, yet I don't know what we're containers of. Obviously, if this information is true, the ramifications are far-reaching, and you don't have to be a nuclear physicist to figure that out. So before I bring this to an end, there are a couple of questions I should address for you. The first one is, how did I get into this program? While working at Los Alamos National Lab in 1982, the local newspaper did a front-page story on a jet car I had built. Coincidentally, Dr. Teller was giving a speech in Los Alamos that same day. We met and had a short chat about the jet car, and I later listened to his speech. I never met Dr. Teller again, but in 1988, when I decided to re-enter the scientific community, I sent him a resume and inquired about a job. Dr. Teller responded by telephone and told me that he was no longer active, but just functioned in a consultant capacity. He gave me the name of a contact to call in Las Vegas. I made that call and things progressed from there until I got into the program. I never got a chance to ask Dr. Teller if he remembered me from Los Alamos, so I don't know if that was a factor or not. If you use nuclear fuel, and not that possible, nuclear fuel is feasible, but whether these will be velocity, are interesting if you ever want to get ever start. That is an important question. And that's about all I can say. All I have time to say. And what specifically the fuel will be, I think it might be fission, more probably fusion. And it will come soon. Is there any other nuclear reaction besides fission and fusion that you know of? No. Is there anything such as... Please, you try to explore the things about which I only will have to tell you it is not interesting, it's a waste of time. Above plutonium or uranium? Look, it is, in my opinion, not interesting. I don't intend to answer it. If you ask me that question on camera, I will shut up. I will sit silent. You're not going to get an answer out of me on that. Okay. And if I ask you on camera if you know Bob Lazar, can you just say no? I will sit silently.